In this video, I will show you how I use this photo from the movie to create this painting. If this is your first time here, consider subscribing if you want to learn more about Photoshop and digital art. Try to follow along till the end so you see the whole process of creating this and you can do the same if you want to. Right, so I got rid of this background already. So you might be wondering where does this arm go? Well, I'm going to use this as a portrait so I don't need this arm. I put this here and first thing I will do is make this background black. Now we want to get the lighting right here. I want to create lighting from behind him on the right side and this side will be darker. So first I will make it darker with the curves here. I press this on so effect this layer and bring this down. And now I can press some areas lighter because I want to make lighting coming from there. So I'm assuming, assuming the lighting is going to be a little bit like this, like that. And I will leave this, these parts darker for now. Next is to get some more contrast in this image. So I'm going to create another curse. And this time I'm going to bring the mid tones down. So you have some nice contrast here. All right. And for the backside, for the background, I want to create a new layer. And I'm going to create something a little bit pinkish purple background color. So like that, I can just make this bigger and start working on my light source. I want my light source somewhere there to be like some powerful light source behind me. Let's duplicate this and move this around. So you can see a little bit better here. All right, let's duplicate this another time and put it above all the layers. And this I'm going to change it to screen. And with screen, I can create some nice light coming over him. I don't want to have this too much, so I'm going to drop the opacity here. All right, next thing we can do here is to work on on some rim lights. So I'm going to create a new layer here, create a clipping mask of it. And this time I'm going to select the same color, but a little bit lighter than the original one. And now I can just brush some parts lighter like that. So you can just brush these edges lighter. And after that, you can remove some parts to make it look natural. So first I will make sure we have some rim light going on here. Let's make sure this side of his face Looks a little bit cheap now, but we'll fix that in a minute. First, I need some lighting here, just like that. And now I can change this to either screen, maybe overlay, whatever works best. Let's change it to screen for now. Let's do another one. And this time I'm going to use like the same color, but more, more colorful. So bring it to the right, make this bigger and change the blend mode to soft light and put this here. So we have a nice reflection from this background coming over him. And we can even make this bigger. All right, this rim light looks really cheap now. So I'm going to drop the opacity of it slightly here. Make a mask of it and get rid of some parts. Like for instance, don't need it here. Don't need it here. Only parts that are sticking out, so don't need it here. Just to some parts lighter, not everything. And to make sure it doesn't go all the way inside its face. So I'm going to brush it like that. Just a little rim light. This is way too much, so I need to get rid of it. It's better already. Now we can work on the lighting again. So I want to make sure I have enough light in the background. So I'm going to stretch it out and move it to the left. Because I feel like this background is too dark now. He won't see much of him. All right, let's do some more lights. This one is pretty nice, but this can ruin your image really quickly. So try to do this, like not too much, but just in some areas, like maybe here behind, under his chin. Let's do some here. Just little rim lights. I don't want to do it in his face because it's going to ruin it. Let's do some here behind him also. I'm just duplicating, duplicating all these layers. There's a nice glow coming from the back side. All right, we also need some rim lights on the left side because we just created here some lighting. And don't forget to make this lighter again because I changed it to more colorful. I need to make it lighter. Just like that. Just a little stroke on these areas too make this look better. 
And now I can get rid of it on some parts like this one. Just make sure to press the mask of it. All right, let's work on his face because his face looks like like a really bad quality photo. So I'm going to fix that. First, I will create a new adjustment layer, create a clipping mask, go to edit fill and fill this with 50% gray. After that, I can change this to overlay. And with the burn tool, I can make areas darker. So I want to make some areas darker here. Let's bring this up here. Like here, a little bit on its clothing. On this side, we have lighting on the top side, so I want to make this side darker. And you can see in this clothing, it has like these folded clothing areas. These you can make darker. So you get some nice details in the clothing. Let's do some here, here. It's too much. Here. Some here. Let's do his eyes darker here. When we do this on this photo, it looks like the photo got better quality. Let's do his hair because his hair looks a little bit messy now, so I'm gonna make it darker. Now we can change this to mid-tones. Now I can do some mid-tones and drop the exposure here. So let's do some here. here some dark areas here just to get more shadows in this whole composition a bit here here all right let's not do this too much this is fine for now what i can do now is also do shadows let's make this really big and do a bit shadow on the bottom side here like that side is really dark all right, and now we can do some dodge. With a dodge, I can create some highlights. So I'm gonna do the same as for the for the burn tool. I'm gonna create a new 50% gray layer and change the blend mode to overlay filled with 50% gray. And now I can lighten up these areas because I wanna make some areas lighter. See the dodge tool here and bring this up. And with this one, I can like make areas really glowing like this. For instance, these highlights on on these rim lights, you can see they started the glowing up now. Also here. So that's why it's better to first make these white lines after that you can make them really pop out with this one. Get some nice lighting here. You don't want to do this too much on his face, just a little bit. As you can see here, when I do it too much, it just ruins the image. So I'm going to do this really small here. You can also do his nose here. Make his nose white. Like that. Let's not do this here, but maybe here and drop the exposure. even more I'm gonna make the brush bigger so we can see how his face looks here like that let's do here let's also do his lips because they are sticking out a bit of glow to these lips this one and we can do the same here on the clothing this one. here here also here so all these areas that are sticking out i'm gonna brush with this one sometimes you see i make mistakes on this it doesn't matter because i'm gonna edit this later on first i want to have everything right as i want to after that i can apply some effects and you won't see anything anymore of these Little mistakes. Do some here. Let's make this lighter. I feel like this this rim light on his face is a little bit too much here. So this one, I'm gonna brush this 
slightly away so that's what i usually do i just create a bunch of these lights and after that i can check which one i need and which one i don't for instance i could remove this let's leave that but this part here and this one so never expect your design to be to look good at the at the start just make a bunch of effects after that you can play with these settings or get rid of them all right that is fine for now we have this rim light here so we need to make this top side of this background a little bit lighter so i'm gonna duplicate this move it here so that's better give a stretch this out All right, let's see what we can do here. We have this one. This is the big layer from the back side. We can move this down so we see a little bit of his body here. And these rim lights or these these glowing lines, we need to fix those because they are just floating in the air now. So I need to move these around until I get that in the right position. Actually, I want to make this slightly like that because his hair doesn't look so right on this one, so I don't want to see too much. All right, I'm going to get some more contrast in this because I feel like his face is too gray. So let's do some curves again here. Bring this down. This is way too much, so need to play with these settings until I get something that I like. Best way is to look at the background and uh, this dark area. So for instance, if this is like dark gray, this area, is, if this is dark gray, you need to make sure the background is also the same like that. Just to get the right tones for everything. All right, let's, maybe we don't need this one. Just checking if this looks better here. Right, let's create some colors on his face and on his body. We have like this purple background now, so I want to make sure it reflects on his face and stuff like that. So I'm going to make a layer on top of him and just make like this dot again. I always make these dots and change this to color. And now I can make this big and make sure it's coming on him. You can also try you situation whatever works best let's duplicate this layer and also bring it to this side to make sure these reflections are coming on them on him and now we can bring it more inside of him and drop the opacity so we have like this gradient let's see let's we can stretch this out so it looks a little bit more like that because I feel like it's too round now. Let's also do the same for the other side to find this layer. But this is from this side. Also stretch this out slightly. And the other side, this one, we can also, I just hold it down shift and alt on my keyboard and I stretch it out like that. Maybe you can do this also here. Let's see how that looks. Or maybe not. Just a little bit. All right, let's leave it like this. Background, I want to use this one. I think this will look really cool with all these neon lights here. So I'm going to put this behind every layer here. Convert to smart object. As you can see, we have like this neon light bar there. It's going on and that fits exactly where I created this this light source in the background so this looks pretty cool and now we can just adjust all these settings let's first make sure it's something like this let's drop some color from it it's a little bit too bright for me too much colors like that and now we can adjust these colors maybe a little bit darker for this background so we have more focus on Joker itself, like that. All 
All right, this looks pretty nice. And now I can adjust all these settings. So basically I have this composition ready. This doesn't look right here, so I need to blur this out or something. But the top side looks really good now, I think. And only thing I have to do here is like add a light source because we have lighting on his face now. So I would make something glowing on this side because we have lighting in the background. I want to make sure there's some light coming from there to get it all right. So I would make this white. Just a little detail that makes it look like a real, like a real thing instead of something that doesn't look right. So what I would do here is also blur this background, but not too much because this is not a close up shot. So I will blur this like just a little bit of blur. So it still looks like a real photo. And now we can even move this around to see if something is better. Like maybe this is better. Now it looks like he's sitting on a balcony or something. On a, in a club or whatever. All right, now I'm going to do some changes here to get it all right. All right, what I did here was I added these light beams. If you Google those sunbeams or something like that, for free Photoshop light beams. This is just a brush. You can add these. This is really easy. So I created this, these light beams like he's watching this light. And what I want to do now is I want to move this a little bit down. So if this bar or this neon light behind him, it's visible like that. And we have him more in the center of this image. And now we can slightly move these layers of this lighting to the right position. I have a plugin it's called real fx paint so if i go to here scripts real paint fx when i press this it's going to create this sort of painting style from this image i want to create that because it will look like a real painting after this so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to press this it's going to take a couple of seconds so i will show you what happens after this i will link this this plugin in the description of the video so if you want to get this one it's really cool. It's one of the best I've ever used. So I will link this in the description of the video. All right. So I rasterized all these layers and put this in a different file. So I don't mess with the original one. And here I only have to go to file, scripts, and real paint FX. All right. This is what happened to this design. I got a bunch of folders here. This is way too much now. So I'm going to remove some of these. But if you see this at original uh, size, you can see that... This is really cool. This is like a real painting. So, but this is too much because we can't see the details anymore. So here you have a bunch of layers that this action created and you can select one of these or you can get rid of them. For instance, I don't want to use this, maybe in this, this. Maybe I just wanted to use it like this, like a brush painting or whatever it's called, or maybe like this. And if I disable all these, I just get my original photo. So I'm going to use a couple of these this one is really good i think i'm gonna leave this one and also maybe a bit of this textures from one of these paintings so this is really what you want to do with your design if you want to have it like this you can just leave it like that or you can check all these folders they created a bunch of things here that you can disable and try out different ones i just want to have a little bit of a painting style i don't want to have it too much so i'm just gonna select maybe one or two from these to see which one is best. 